My name is Julika Ancini Torres from BSMLS2. For today's video, I'm going to show you an artwork. Yes, an artwork. This is the artwork. And this artwork is in line with my subject laboratory management. This artwork is entitled The Transition of Change. So, as you can see, this girl right here, this is me. And all things that surround this girl, this is a pandemic we are facing right now. Okay, so let us first start at the bottom. We all know that nothing is constant in this world. Everything can change because change is inevitable. The good foods and drinks like milk tea, sandgup, chicken wings, all of them. All of them suddenly change into sardines, noodles, rice, and coffee, which we call ayuda. Today, alcohol is much more important than cell phones, and someone would buy a mask rather than a new pair of rubber shoes, because pleasure cannot save you from that. Next, is that we can clearly see in this artwork the frontliners, the people whom we do not respect that much before. These ordinary people suddenly became our heroes, our protectors. And given the situation, I am hoping that everyone will give their utmost respect to them and that they will also care for them the same way they care for us. Discrimination should not prevail. And lastly, this top portion depicts death, the scary, fearful, and tragic end of those who will not survive. It is hurting me seeing that most of the people who succumb themselves to death are the poorest of the poor. How come the disease of the rich brought death to the poor people? Oh please, we are not in Hunger Games. I am in so much pain and this past few weeks I've come to realize that life is truly precious. That life should be valued more and everyone deserves to live. In the first place, if proper management could have been given, we would not experience this type of crisis. What I should do today is very much clear to my mind. First, I need to learn more about proper management. Second, I need to improve my knowledge and skills. Third, I need to undergo seminars, trainings, and workshops. And fourth, I need to engage myself with different people so that in the future, I could give my countrymen the best services that I could offer, especially during these times like a pandemic. As a future laboratory manager, this pandemic has changed me to become a woman who values life more than how I valued it before. Because this solitude of mine, surrounded by continuous mortalities each day, made me realize that life could suddenly become ephemeral. Life is too short. This short life should be enjoyed by everyone. Let us help other people who do not have the proper resources to survive in this scary world so that they could enjoy the life that they are destined to have. I am the lab manager of the Innovative Translational Research Shared Resource, or the ITR for short. One of the main missions of our lab as a translational lab is to kind of get behind the molecular mechanisms of why some patients will have a great response to cancer therapy and then why some different patients don't. Trying to stay one step ahead of cancer diseases for patients. It's a big, big job. The collaborative spirit here at Vanderbilt is um, one of the reasons why I think it's a really great place to work. All that you need is kind of here and everybody is willing to work together. People kind of understand the common mission and are here to kind of make things better, regardless if it's directly in the clinic or something in a supportive role for the clinic, but it all bubbles up to help patients and uh, everybody seems to kind of be on that same page. 